On ABC 6 News 11 at 11, the Providence Place Mall celebrating 25 years today. Back in 1999, the mall first opened, but now the long term future of the space is unknown. ABC 6 News anchor Alyssa Azar joins us live in the newsroom with details. Alyssa. That's right, Tiffany. Today I spoke to mall goers about what they like and don't like about the mall and what they think the future may hold. Since 1999, Rhode Islanders have been visiting the Providence Place Mall for a variety of reasons. Usually just shopping, random things or food most of the time. <laughs> we came to get a bite to eat. Other than that, shopping, it's not going to happen at the mall. The mall first opened in August, 25 years ago. Currently, it's home to many stores, including Macy's, Old Navy, and Boscov's. Restaurants like P.F. Chang's, The Cheesecake Factory, and newly added Fogo de Chao. Honestly, I think this mall has evolved more than most malls have. Um, we have gotten a bunch of new stores, stuff like that. New food places in the court, so yeah. But some people say they come for the activities that the mall has to offer at places like Dave and & Buster's and Level 99. There's a lot of online shopping now and yeah. nobody really comes here. They're going to come here for like games or something, but not really clothes. One mall goer says it's his first time at Providence Place in five years, doing his shopping online instead. It's too expensive. Everything is too expensive. The wages don't match the prices. It's a... Uh, it's, it's too much. A spokesperson for Mayor Britt Smiley's office said in a statement to ABC6 News, quote, the current tax treaty agreement with the Providence Place Mall ends in 2028. At this time, we do not have any active applications for an extension or a new agreement. Now that statement went on to say that Mayor Smiley will reevaluate the potential for a new agreement that reflects the long-term goals of the city closer to the 2028 date. Tiffany, back to you.